Hi there, welcome back to France Contained. I'm Ian. Um, I'm, today I'm going to carry on with the DIY automatic chicken coop door. I'm really happy with the chicken guard door with its auto lock function. That's great, it's really light, uh, very easy to fit. But I didn't want to go the standard off the shelf um, automatic door route. I wanted to play with and have a go at it myself with the Arduino. Um, and also combining a bit of solar off-grid for the chicken goo. So it's a good fun project. So uh, follow me along and uh, let's get on with it. So let me take you through the schematic of the design for the automatic chicken door. On the left hand side is the power. So we start off with the 10 watt solar panel, which is on top of the coop. That feeds into a small charge controller, ch uh, 10 amp charge controller here. That then charges up the 7.2 amp hour 12 volt battery. Just one point to take note, it is best practice to connect the battery at all times before the solar panel. Also, vice versa, disconnect the solar before disconnecting the battery. So basically you're not having the charge controller just with the solar panel on. Onto the Arduino, um, we have the 12 volts input coming in at the top. The USB at the top here is for the initial programming and updates. The first connections are from the Arduino to the L298N stepper controller board. So the uh, pin 10 comes up across and it comes to the enable pin on the stepper controller. On this little photograph here there is a jumper across the two that has been removed on the actual uh, setup. So you remove the pin and then you connect your wire to enable. Pin number nine is my down motor command. So set this pin high when I want the motor to let the door go down. Pin number eight is the opposite, that's I want the motor to go up, so that sets that high. The other connections off the L298 are directly to the motor and they come up to the motor and drive it. Then we have the connections for the sensors, so the two limit switches are here. These are pin two and four are digital inputs, so either high or low. Pin A0 for the photoresistor is an analog input, so it's reading a series of uh, signals from. So that is the, uh, the setup of my automatic chicken door. Um, it seems to work fine. Uh, I hopefully will be adding on to it as time goes by with maybe a timer, um, indication LEDs, and also probably um, a manual down an op switch. But to begin with, that seems okay to me. So here are all the parts that you've seen on the, uh, the diagrams already. So this is the 10 watt uh, 12 volt solar panel that'll sit on top of the chicken coop. Now that feeds this little charge controller here, which is a 10 amp unit. That then is feeding this small 12 volt 7.2 amp hour battery and that will sit inside the chicken coop door. The output from the solar charger is I've got a USB here which I've connected directly to the Arduino. The 12 volts here comes across and goes directly into the L298N stepper controller unit. So that takes uh, a full 12 volts from the charger. Below is the mini breadboard which I've got the three 330 ohm resistors, uh, various wires, it's a bit uh, messy, I've tried to clean it up a little bit by shortening the wires. And then the outputs, I've got the, uh, the top one here coming down to the upper switch, the upper um, reed switch. The next connection here comes down to the lower reed switch. And then the third final one here comes down this wiggly wire all the way to the photoresistor. Just get that in focus. The photoresistor will sit out um, point outside of the coop of course so it uh, detects the sun um, and I will put some uh, silicon and uh, seal that into the into the wood like so. So there are all the parts of the system 
pretty simple. I haven't shown you the motor yet, but I'll do that now. So here is the, uh, the motor. It's a small 12 volt, seven RPM rotations per minute. Um, oh, it was only about 12 euro from uh, Amazon. Um, all the links to the parts to all of this project I'll put in the description below. But uh, I also bought with it a small pulley and that just basically fits on like that and then screws in with the Allen key. I had to make a little bracket for it. I uh, made it out just out of a strip of uh, aluminium and drilled a few holes, made a small template here. So put the little piece of paper over and then uh, traced all the little holes. Took that up, put that onto a piece of uh, aluminium, center punched a few holes in and then drilled them out. I just used a step drill to, uh, to make the hole here. So that will uh, fit like that and screw in. And then I made a second one to go onto the back of it like that. Right, here's a short demonstration of the automatic door opener. Instead of the motor, I'm just using my multimeter um, and that will show the voltage that will be put to the motor when triggered by the program. Here we go, so at the moment it's zero volts, the door is open and it's daylight. Here is my uh, photo resistor. But when it comes to night time, I'll cover that with my finger, it'll delay and it will delay longer than it is here. This is just for the test. I'll delay it for sort of 10 minutes in the actual real program. But that's now set to 12 volts. So I'm gonna slide the door down and that will release the upper switch here. It's going down, going down, and now it's closed. It hits the lower switch and it goes to zero volts. So now it is night time, the chickens are in and the door is closed. So in the morning, sun rises, the photoresistor comes out to the light, 12 volt, the motor activates, comes up to the upper switch, zero volts, and the motor stops. These are the, the small uh, magnetic reed switches where I'll put top and bottom of the door opening. Um, these are the little magnets that come with it. Um, the chicken guard door, which is mostly plastic, it, it's going to be difficult to get those on because of the locking system at the bottom. So I'm just going to go for um, this tiny little magnet here and put one glued, heat glued or whatever, onto the uh, bottom of the door or just above the bottom of the door because this is where the locking system is. Originally, um, of course you can't tell, although I should have looked at the sizes, this is a yeah, switch that I actually uh, ordered off Amazon and it came and I thought, oh, that's not going to work at all. So uh, I rechecked all my dimensions and just ordered a, a box of 10 of these for about 8 euros. Just going to quickly uh, mount the little motor onto a piece of wood so it's easier to screw into the, uh, the chicken coop. Right, that's it on the, uh, the wooden plate. Um, I had to change this front bracket round. I had it the other way, but I then found out once I put my uh, pulley on there, that I won't have enough room to put the hole through the wood for the string. So I'm just gonna drill this little hole oh, just there. going to put a small hole through the side so I can put the cord in and then just glue the end. I'm now just going to thread the pull string through.
Welcome back. Another day. Um, the rain got me yesterday, so I had to put all my tools away. So um, I managed to fit the door um, onto the side. So I'll show you that now. There it is. So I'm trying to hide everything inside the wall. So uh, here's the door here. A bit sunny today. So there are all the wires. It's like my first fix electrics and first fix plumbing. So there is a bit of work I did yesterday as well for the uh, the water system that's hidden inside. But uh, now I'm just going to place in the battery. Look at that, a bee. I have a bee on my hand. Better not sting me. <laughs> so um, I've had to route out the door where the battery is going to be. So there's plenty of thickness on the door. So I used my new router, routed out a little hole, not very square because I didn't have a, a jig or anything. So I'm going to fit the uh, a small shelf that the battery will sit here. So I'm just going to install the electronics now, which is an exciting bit. Uh. There we go, we've got 12 volts from the battery. So the uh, stepper controller is on, the little light, the Arduino is on, the little light. So all the connections are on, so the lower switch, the upper switch and the photo resistor are all connected in. I haven't connected the motor yet, so I'll get on and do that now. So as you can see the motor here, these cables I should have just drilled straight through and that are dropped down right next to the, uh, the electronics. But now I'm going to sort something out, so uh, what my plan is to uh, cut a larger hole there, thread a cable guide up, hopefully I can see it, grab it with a pair of pliers, pull it through, take these ends and pull down the cable guide. Let's see what happens. Well, I've drilled the hole, I've put the cable guide up and there it is. So I'm going to try and grab with these little pliers. Success. I couldn't do it with one hand. Right, let me get these uh, ends taped up and uh, I'll pull it from the other side. Yes. Oh, perfect. And I'm just using my multimeter just to check the switches. So I'm going to check the upper switch first. It rises, comes to the top, and you can hear the beep. Now go to the lower switch. Off. Off. And then there. So both switches work fine. Right, it's test time. Everything's done. The, uh, the door's all painted. Julie uh, touched it all up yesterday. I'm just going to show you now the operation of the uh, automatic door. So here we go. So I'll just show you the inside. So um, on the top here we have the battery and that feeds into the charge controller. The other two wires here come all the way to the top to a small 10 kilowatt solar panel on top. On here we have the Arduino, the motor controller, the small breadboard with the resistors and then a terminal block. Now this is a prototype. I'm going to uh, redesign this a little bit so all the sensors will plug in 
with little jack plugs so I can take this whole unit out without too much of uh, unscrewing all the, uh, the various wires. I'm also going to put a small piece of uh, perspex across this front here just in case I get any leakage. But that's about it, so uh, it works pretty good. All I need is the USB cable here into the laptop and I'll change that uh, three second delay to the one hour delay that I mentioned earlier. So the operation, here is a sensor here. So I'm gonna put my finger over it now. And normally that would be one hour delay, but I've set it to three seconds. So it should go now. There we go. And I'll reprogram that after this test. So the door goes all the way down, as you can see. And it will go past the bottom switch for about one or two seconds. In the program it says four seconds, but it's no way that much. And it's to allow the locking mechanism to, uh, to set in place. So it's just coming in now. It's carrying on down and now it's locked. So as you can see, it's all locked. So now the sunrise is coming up. I'm going to take my finger off this little photo cell. And there's no real delay here. It should just open. There we go. And that will come all the way up to the magnetic reed switch at the top and stop. So I'm watching a door go up. quite funny in the morning though when it does come up um, I was here of course this morning just to try it out but the the chickens um, notice it's going up and then just ram at the door so you can hear them but head butting the door so uh, they'll just have to learn thank you so much for uh, watching this video um, the next stage is the automatic water feeder uh, which will be in the next video but please hit that subscribe button thumbs up and uh, I'll see you in the next video Bye for now.